basically FM is uh, the integration of all services okay, to support the core business. So uh, it will generally be fragmented here and there because uh, you have safety on the other side, uh, governed by other ministries. You will have uh, uh, some other laws and rules uh, with regards to the machineries. You will have uh, some uh, because everybody wants to champion everything. But we FM, we don't mind that all. You know, we don't mind at all. We are the one who integrates and harmonize everything to make it work to support the core business. So uh, that's why in Malaysia, uh, the Malaysian Association of Facility Management, we define uh, FM as a total management that integrates all services to support the core business of an, uh, an organization. Because we know that all these uh, services they have their own, uh, I would say, market or, or rather the, the champions. So it's the, the duty of the FM to know which is uh, which weightage for certain or specific uh, environment or rather the specific for business. Which formula? You know, you have all the the, the ingredients to cook. So the best chef will will know which uh, how much to put the salt how much to put the everything for a specific customer. So that's uh, basically in Malaysia we are trying to educate the market uh, in, in that uh, perspective. What we are doing is, uh, the first thing is that uh, to get FM recognized as a professional uh, so-called career uh, and we are driving that. Otherwise, uh, you know, if there's no recognition in terms of uh, from a professionalism perspective, then uh, you know everybody, anybody can come into industry and call themselves an FM practitioner. So uh, we are working, uh, you know, talking uh, with uh, authorities here uh, to have that recognized. A lot of times uh, we call ourselves FM industry, but when it comes to uh, you know statistics, uh, are we uh, you know do we have numbers to represent uh, the industry? And how many people are actually uh, working in the industry? That number alone, you know, it's quite difficult to get. You know, how big is the industry? You know, if you go to the statistics, uh, later we'll show some numbers, I'll show some numbers. But which industry do we pick from? You know, the, all the governments produce uh, GDP for certain industries and FM is, is it construction or is it in real estate or business services? So there's no FM industries. So just simply by definition, it is fragmented. We're trying to set up our core competency, especially for, for our locals, Thai. Because, um, I mean, uh, international competency sometimes doesn't uh, work well in, in Thailand, especially like, like um, communications language, for example. So, so yes, we're, we're trying to set that core competency, then a standard and certified. Yes, I agree. Because um, from FYS, it's, like, uh, it's a huge... Um, professions, not, not only like management. Cleaning is also part of it, construction is a part of it. So it's to get the real number, it's very, very difficult. It is, it is. And, and it's across the world, especially like in Thailand, you said FM, it's, it's, it can mean uh, security is also part of it, right? for instance. We notice that uh, sometimes the association itself are very difficult to get uh, data. Um, in fact, even the government uh, statistics are actually very difficult to justify whether the numbers are correct. And it is also very difficult to go directly to buildings owner to collect information. So basically the information that we have is very general, but uh, hopefully that uh, the data will also represent actually the growth, uh, looking the fact on the uh, economic ASEAN community that uh, now cross borders very open. We have the same concern how um, actually we have to provide uh, standardization among the Asian countries. Um, so that is uh, very important to move forward. We are working very hard on that, um, on the standardization. Um, even the Burma chapter is um, working on the certification. Um, we realize that um, based on experience from many years back where expatriates are moving to our countries, to Indonesia, the biggest obstacles is always uh, language. And that is uh, actually creating the biggest problem of misleading of instruction.